In this video, I'll show how to host multiple WordPress website on AWS LightSail. In a previous video, I explained how to host a new WordPress website or migrate an existing WordPress site to an AWS LightSail instance. Someone in the comment asked if we could host multiple WordPress websites in a LightSail instance. So today, I'll show a different process. With this process, you'd be able to access the database and the files of the websites. Let's start. I am logged in to my LightSail dashboard. Here first I will create an instance. My location is Mumbai. The Linux platform is already selected. And below, instead of selecting the WordPress instance, I will select Plesk hosting stack on Ubuntu. You can check this enable automatic snapshots. It will create automatic daily backup of the instance. I will keep the default time zone. I'll go with the $7 plan. If you have larger websites, then you need to select a bigger plan. Now I'll rename the instance. I'll click on create instance. It will take a moment to start the instance. Now I can see the instance is running. Here you can see the status. Here you can see the IP. If we reboot the instance, the IP will be changed. So first we need to get a static IP. I'll go to the networking tab here and I'll select create static IP. Here I'll select the instance. This is the only instance I have. I'll change it. Okay, static IP WordPress light cell. Now I'll click on the create button. This is the public static IP. I'll go to the instances tab again and the new IP is attached with the instance. Now I'll reboot the instance. After the reboot, I'll open the terminal of the instance. I can click on this to open the terminal. I have another option to open the terminal. If I click on the instance name here, here I can use this connect using SSH option to open the terminal. Our instance is ready. Now we need to log into the system. We do not know the username and password yet. So I'll open the terminal and here I'll paste this command. I'll press enter. It shows two URLs. I'll copy the second URL here and I'll open a new tab. Here I'll paste the URL. For the first time, I need to click on this advanced option here. I'll select this proceed to the unsafe option. Now I get the Plesk admin option. I'll accept all the cookies here. Here I need to create the username and password. I'll keep the default username admin as the username and I need to use my email ID which is associated with the light cell and I'll generate a password for this Plesk admin. I'll copy the password in a notepad document. I'll save all the username and passwords and I'll select this option. I do not want to reset the password on the next login so I'll not check this. I'll click on enter Plesk. It will take a few moments to setting up the Plesk panel. With Plesk, you can control your websites as you can do on a cPanel. This is the Plesk dashboard. Still, it is initializing. Next time when you need to log into the Plesk admin, we will use the public IP. I will show you the process in a moment. Now here I'll add my domain. After adding the domain, I'll install the WordPress here. I'll click on add domain. Here I'll select WordPress. I'll type my domain name wptrialzone.com and under WordPress setting, I'll keep the default settings. You can copy this username and this password. If you want to use FTP for the website, I'll click on add domain. Now it wants me to install WordPress. But before installing WordPress, we need to set up the DNS settings for this domain. I'll close this window here. I'll go under websites and domains here and I see the domain here WP trial zone. I'll click on that and I'll open the hosting and DNS tab. Here I see domain is not resolvable. I'll click on that and at the top you see update DNS settings on the side of your domain register or external DNS provider. I'll click on that. Here I can see the name servers. The name server setting is little different. You have two options to connect the domain. It offers the name servers and the other option it offers is a record. I'll use the first method here. For that, I need to log into my Namecheap account. Here I am on my Namecheap account and this is the domain WP trial zone. We need to add the glue records to add the name servers. Here under advanced DNS, I see the option personal DNS server. I need to add the glue records here. 
I'll select add name servers and I'll select NS1 and I'll copy the IP. Done. Now I'll add one more name servers here that is NS2 and I'll paste the same IP and click on done. To see the personal name servers I need to click on this search button. And here are the servers. I added these two name servers. Now I'll go to domain and here under name servers I'll select custom DNS. Now I'll copy this NS1. I'll copy the second name servers that is ns2.wptrialzone.com and I'll click on this save button. To understand this process, if I scroll down, I can see the option name chip. If your domain is with other providers like GoDaddy or any other providers, then you can open that tutorial page and you'll see the guide here. How to add those glue records or how to add the DNS records for Plesk. Here it still shows domain is not resolvable. So I'll check the name servers. Here I'll type wptrialzone.com and I'll click show NS records. It shows the name servers have been updated. Let me check if the website loads. It doesn't show anything yet. I will wait until the name server updates completes. I can see something here WP trial zone. The name servers have been updated. Now I'll install WordPress to this domain. Now I'll go to dashboard here. I'll go to WP toolkit and I'll select this install WordPress. I'll put positive geek as the website title and here I'll change the username to positive geek and I'll keep the same password. I'll keep the same email for WordPress admin, but I'll copy the password. This is the password for WordPress dashboard. I'll install the WordPress here. Here you can see installing WordPress. The WordPress is now installed on the domain. It suggests if I want to install the plugins, I'll click on no thanks. The first thing I need to do here, I need to install the SSL certificate. I'll click on the no certificate link here and I'll click on get an SSL TLS certificate. Here I'll select the free basic certificate by Let's Encrypt. I'll click on install. I'll select the wildcard option. I'll select the certificate for the IMAP, POP and SMTP settings. So it secures the emails and I'll select this DNA support. I'll click on get it for free. It says before clicking continue, make sure that DNS record was added. I already added the DNS record, so I'll click on the continue button here. Now I'll click on the install button. It shows the domain and the WW version of the domain and the webmail. All these three are secured now. Now I'll go to website and domains. Let's see the website. Ptrialzone.com and this is the website we just created on AWS LightCell using the Plesk admin. Now I log on to the WP admin. I'll use the username and password here. So we have successfully installed the first website on AWS LightCell using the Plesk admin. Here I can access the files using the files option here. These are the files for the website. I can access the database using this databases option here. Here I'll click on PHP my admin to view the database. This is the database for the WordPress website. It also provides webmail. I'll click on the mail option here and here I need to create an email account. I'll click on create email address. I'll type a name YouTube and I'll create a password. I'll use the same password I have used for the WP dashboard. Confirm the password and I'll click on the OK button. To access the email, I just need to go to the webmail.wptrialzone.com. I'll use the username I just created, YouTube at wptrialzone.com and I'll use the password. So this is the webmail for the website. You can create multiple webmail accounts. You can connect this webmail account with your Gmail account or you can connect this webmail account with your Outlook application. So we have got our first website with the Plesk admin. Now I will set up a second WordPress website on this Plesk admin on this AWS LightCell instance. But before installing the second website here, I'll show you how you can quickly log on to the Plesk admin. I'll log out from here. Now to quickly log on to the Plesk admin, copy the IP, paste it on the browser and at the end type colon 
8443 press enter now you will get your plesk admin login option i'll use the admin user and the password here here you can see it shows an ssl error if you do not want to see this error then you can use the address it suggests i'll click on login now i'll add another domain here i'll click on add domain i'll select wordpress again this time i'll use this domain testandtry.com i'll paste the domain name here by default it will create a new web space this is the default ip dedicated ip for the instance if you need the ftp username and password then you need to copy it i'll not copy it i'll click on add domain now it wants to install the wordpress but before installing wordpress i will connect the domain so here i'll click on websites and domains i'll select the testandtry.com here i'll select hosting and dns i'll click on dns and again i'll follow the same procedure i'll click on advanced dns and i'll copy the ip under personal dns servers i'll add a name server i'll select ns1 and i'll paste the ip Again, I'll select NS2 and I'll paste the IP and click on done. Now I'll click on the search button to see the IPs. Now I'll go to the domain option. Here I'll click on custom DNS and I'll copy the name servers, this one and this one. And I'll click on this save button. In my previous video, I have explained how to connect the domain using the A records. Now I'll copy the domain name and I'll check for the name servers DNS checker. I'll open the NS lookup. I'll put the domain here. It says the testandtry.com has this new name servers. I'll try to log on to the domain. We got the error with this domain. This means the domain is now connected with the Plesk admin. Now I'll install WordPress on this domain. So I'll go back to websites and domains. Under testandtry.com, under dashboard, I'll click on WP Toolkit. You can access the WP Toolkit option with this WordPress menu here. I'll click on the install button. Here I'll select my new domain testandtry.com. For this website, I'll keep the default website title. I'll use the same username and password I have created for the previous website. I'll keep the default settings for all these database and automatic update settings. I'll click on install. WordPress is now installed on the new domain. Now I'll set up the SSL certificate. Under SSL and TLS, I'll select no certificate, get an SSL certificate. Here I'll use the let's inscript option. I'll check all this and I'll click on get it free. I'll click on the continue button here. Here I can see the domain is now secured with the SSL certificate. I'll open testandtry.com. I'll log on to the WP admin. This is the username and this is the password we have created for this domain. And we are logged in. For this domain, you can create email accounts under this mail option. Here if I click on create an email address. Now it will suggest for which domain I want to create the email. I'll create the username. I'll enter a password. I'll confirm the password and I'll click on OK. Let's try to log into the webmail account. Webmail.testandtry.com. Here I have used subscribe at testandtry.com and I'll put the password. This is the webmail for the second domain. Here we have two WordPress websites under this instance. You can access the files and the database like you can do on a cPanel. You can install multiple WordPress websites here. That's the end of the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.